Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's World Championship 2010 Reverse of Arcadia. I always just call it Reverse of Arcadia because World Championship 2010 is too much of a mouthful with the rest of these words. But uh, we're back to playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! At long last after... I say at long last, it really hasn't been that long. Like, when did we finish Stardust Accelerator? Like, five months ago or something? I don't remember. But uh, Stardust Accelerator was terrible. It was truly awful, and uh, I regret playing it, and I blame chat for telling me to play it before playing Reverse of Arcadia. We could have already played through Reverse of Arcadia and played Stardust, or not Stardust Accelerator, um, play, what's the other one called? What's it called? What's it called? What's the other one that I like? What's the one after Reverse of Arcadia? What's the 2011 game? I'm gonna remember it. I'm not looking at chat. I'm gonna remember what the name of this stupid game is. What is it? Over the Nexus! It's Over the Nexus. I remembered it. Uh, Over the Nexus. We could have already played Over the Nexus in Reverse of Arcadia if Stardust Accelerator hadn't left such a bad taste in my mouth for Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, you know what? We're gonna watch the little animation here of... The Kakaka Bapapu? I can't pronounce its name. The Earthbound Immortal summoning itself because it, it really wants to be seen at the start of stream here. So yeah, I already have existing data and it continues, you can see, because I actually, like... I can't remember the last time I played Reverse of Arcadia. It's probably been about a year, give or take, but I usually, Reverse of Arcadia is one of those games that I play like every year or so, like every year, every other year, just for fun. So I actually already had save data when I opened it up and all that. I already had the ROM and everything. And by that, I mean, I'm playing this on my legit PlayStation 47. But uh, we're gonna new game it up, of course, which is gonna delete whatever that save data was. I didn't even like look at what it was, but we're deleting it. And we're starting a new game. I'm from the U.S. of A. Let's go. Uh, I live in Tennessee, but I don't want to scroll down to the T, so I'm just going to hit not specified. I am a man. I'm a dude. Who, what was my name in Stardust Accelerator, chat? Was it Solo or Rogue? Because I'm going to do the opposite here. Does anyone remember? Or am I just going to guess? I think, I think I'm just gonna have to guess. It was solo, was it solo? That means we're rogue this time. You do good old Mega Man Star Force shout out. Need to play Star Force 3 at some point. Be aware that the name you input and other various information about you will be publicly displayed on the internet and leaderboard. Shit, this is the, I'm not gonna connect to the internet on this one. No one on the internet is ever going to see this. Ever. No one. Right, chat? No, no one on the internet is ever going to see this information right here. I could probably put in my social security and it'd be fine. Alright, what hair number do we want? Probably hair number three. Hair number three, the Yugi Moto hair. Mostly because all of the other hair options are hot garbage. Is this literally just Bandit Keith? This is literally just Bandit Keith. Right? Don't forget the three little numbers on the back. This hairstyle actually isn't that bad when you change the color of it. I'm pretty sure that's just Joey's hair. Uh, we're going with the Yugi Moto hair because I always do. But we're gonna give it the Seto Kaiba face. Yeah, the Seto Kaiba face. There we go. There we go. All right, well, one person in chat said in Stardust Accelerator I use Solo. The other person said, someone else in chat said Rogue. Did anyone check? Do we actually know? You know what, whichever one it is, we'll use the other in Over the Nexus, so it'll be fun. We'll just use Rogue here and then we'll use Solo in Over the Nexus. It'll be fun. It'll all pan out. Although, wait a minute. We could play as the female character model in Over the Nexus and go with Sonya. Hold up, I actually need to know now. Wait a minute. Just gonna... Just gonna you know, chat, talk amongst yourselves if you're watching on YouTube. Just, you know, skip ahead in the video or whatever. Stardust Accelerator. I'm literally typing into my phone right now. Stardust Accelerator, Chaos in the Sky. Hey, what name did I use for this? Let me know, is my vo phone volume down? Sure is. What name did I put in here? Let's find out. Skipping ahead, skipping ahead. I'm doing a long intro, just like I did in this video, because I always do long intros when I start playthroughs. It's kind of my thing. 
Come on, where the heck did you put in the name? All right, that's where I selected my country, and then, and then, I should have checked this before streaming. I made some joke about all the flags. It was Solo, the person who said Solo was right. We just wasted 20 seconds of everyone's time for nothing. Yo, saving data though. It didn't give me the opportunity to change hair color, but I'm pretty sure you can change hair color, which we're going to do as soon as I have the option because the default color I don't like. Uh, 5D story mode. We're probably not gonna touch the championship at all, just like with Stardust. Callan! Callan, no! He, like, died slightly off screen. Trash. He's passed out already. Idiot. Oh no, the purple flirt got him, chat. Yo, what's up? I want to be part of a squad where you get matching outfits. Akatsuki, Dark Signers, whatever the group is called in Bleach, because I never got that far in Bleach. Oh, well, what a way to go. They're rocks now. Remember, do I need to be prepared to flip the screens in this playthrough, chat? Ha ha ha. Monkey. Ooh, ooh, ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. Kerchak. Have you ever played Duel Monsters before? This game is called Yu-Gi-Oh, you idiots. No one actually calls this Duel Monsters. Yes. In this world, you will find three types of duels, each of which is conducted in a different manner. Three? By Master- Oh, Tag Duels. Tag Duels is the third one. I was like, normal and turbo, what the heck is the third? By mastering duels of varying styles, you'll be able to develop your talents as a duelist. Well, there you have it. Now please enjoy your journey in 5D story mode. Chapter 1. Awakening. Arcadia Movement. Hello to everyone in chat, by the way. Welcome. Welcome. Glad to have you. Chat, do you like the uh, layout that I made in probably 12 minutes before stream started? Somebody, somebody please help me. Yo, what's up? After 10,000 years, I will finally be awoken. Sayer, a change has been detected in the test subject's body. Do I normally flip the screen for this when this part happens? Do I normally put the text where it's bigger? Do I do, I do it like this chat? Does anyone remember? Anyone remember how I, I really should have researched literally anything about my own playthrough? If I had just looked at like three episodes of my Stardust Accelerator playthrough, then I would know the answer to this. But that would require me having to remember Stardust Accelerator. And the more I can like blot that from my memory, the better. Sayer, a change has been detected in the test subject's body. What is it? See this wavy pattern? It's likely that the subject's communicating with the spirit world. Wouldn't that is probably just like my heart rate, dude. Really? Then all of your research up to this point hasn't been in vain. Okay, that's enough for today. Maybe it's time we put this one to work for us. Even if this subject can't use psychic powers, I'm sure we'll have a decent duelist on our hands. Make an Ojama deck? Do I have any mods in chat that can ban that person for me, please? Oh, the subject's eyes have opened. When our friend here is able to walk, take our little protege to his room. But make sure no one realizes that this subject is not a psychic duelist. If anyone else finds this out, our secret might be leaked to the outside world. Yes, sir. A few hours later... Please let me dye my hair. Sup, idiots. This will be your room from today. If there's anything you're not sure about, please ask these two guys. Other than that, here's a deck that you can use. All right, so this game actually starts you off with a pretty decent psychic deck from what I remember that you get to use for a while. Since the deck has already been created, be careful not to mix the cards up. You'll be receiving your instructions from Sayer soon. You two better be ready to. 
The one downside of this is that you have to use this psychic deck for the first chapter, but the first chapter, from what I remember, is not very long. It's mostly a lot of exposition for the most part, but uh, then it gives you a standard starting deck, and as soon as you get that standard starting deck, you can immediately start getting other cards to mix with the deck. A pleasure to meet you. My name's Okita. I'm sure we'll get along smashingly. Also, by the way, this game, way better at giving you access to structure packs and cards in general than Stardust Accelerator was, mostly the structure packs. So we are not going to cheat in every card yet, but that might change just like it did in Stardust Accelerator because I can't remember the last time I played this game without just cheating in all of the cards. But we're gonna play it legit, and from what I remember, this game is a lot easier to play legit than Stardust Accelerator was, where Stardust Accelerator got miserable after a while. We just got here ourselves, so I'm afraid we probably can't answer too many of your questions. Some new blood, huh? I'm Liquid. This dude's name is Liquid. What's your name? Rogue, eh? Well, good to have you on board. This dude's name is Liquid. You think his brothers are solid and gas? <laughs> Those would be even worse. What are you staring into space for? You got anything going on upstairs there? Okay then, what's that fella's name over there? Uh, it's, that's Jim. Yeah, that's right, it's Okita, exactly what I said. All right, so where are we now? Uh, what? my apartment. Hey now, get a hold of yourself. We're in Arcadia Movement Headquarters, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, give your brain a rest till we get some instructions. Just don't go causing any trouble, but I love causing trouble. It's like my favorite thing to do, to be honest. Well, I saved the game. Open up this bad boy. Oh, it won't even let me look at the duelist menu because we have the supply deck right now. Wait, 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 this is where I can dye my hair. Go back, go back. It would be under options, change image. Hair? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Give me a, give me a, actually turn the red back up. We're gonna go purple, because it is my favorite color. We want dark purple, which is gonna need both of these to go down more. Bear with me, I don't understand how colors work. I haven't been in kindergarten in a very long time. That's too dark. About like that. A little darker. Eh. About like that, that works. That'll do it. And then we can also change the color of this thing, which just affects the front of it. We of course have to go full black for maximum edge. Because back when I was playing this game, when I was 15 years old, that's how I lived my life. Sick. Bum, 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 bum. The instructions should be coming in soon, so don't just go wandering around. Accidentally interacted with the bed. Apparently this is Okita's bed. There are only two beds in here. Am I sleeping on the, the couch? Rude, Liquid should have to sleep on the couch. Waiting is such tedium, huh? How about a duel, you know, to help to get to know each other better? Yeah. No psychics allowed, all right. We wouldn't want to mess up our room now, would we? Although, being such novices ourselves, I'm sure we can't cause that much damage. Ever considered an Arcana Force deck? Uh, I don't think I've ever played Arcana Force before. It's all about coin flips, isn't it? I'm going first. I think the one of the things that makes Reverse of Arcadia better than Stardust Accelerator is that we're gonna be able to get a uh, a very early dragon deck, which is probably what I'm gonna focus on, and then we'll try and try out different stuff later. But I'm pretty sure it gives you access to Dragon's Roar structure deck really early, which is really good. Wait, what is your effect? I didn't read this thing's effect. When you normal summon this card, you can add a machine type tuner from your deck to your hand during the end phase of the turn. Well, why wouldn't I? This should be Genix controller that it's about to give me? Sure enough. All right, Okita, you dumb idiot. Play your last pathetic card. 
Okay, well, 800 life points is just gonna make this take longer. I don't know why you do this. Why are you the way that you are? Okay, well, uh, I see how this is gonna go. You're like that one chick from Spirit Caller. The lady faculty member. There's also decent enough balancing of difficulty in this game, except for one part. This game is much better balanced, like, overall than Stardust Accelerator was. There are only, off the top of my head, there are only two minutes in this game that are annoying. One of them is just a little mini game thing that you might have to try a couple of times. And then the other one is, there's one duel that can be pretty difficult. And it's not that the duel is hard that's annoying, it's the fact that if you lose the duel, you have to do a little mini game again before you can do the duel a second time, which is annoying. Die. The whale duel? No, the duel right after the whale. No, wait, wait, wait. The duel right before the whale. The duel that is annoying is right before the whale. The mini game that is annoying is right after the whale. What the heck is it's a golden ladybug? Do you plan on playing Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force? Maybe. The only thing I'm for sure going to do Yu-Gi-Oh! related other than this playthrough is, um... What the heck is the name of the game? I keep forgetting it. Over the Nexus. Bom, bom. Just play 40 monsters. It's an easy way to beat said duel. What? What are you? I don't think we're talking about the same thing. You're talking. Okay. No, no, no. I understand what you mean by play 40 monsters. You mean have a deck of 40 monsters. We're not talking about the same duel. I'm talking about the duel before the giant and before the whale. Can I discard one card from your hand, return one monster on the field to the top of the owner's deck? This work on face down cards? Because Twister is a worthless card, so I'll just discard it. Sure does. I have another Krebens. Who allowed this? Yeah, that's an annoying duel. It can be annoying. It's like... It's not the duel itself that's annoying. I don't think there is there is one duel that can be annoying because it's a uh, it's that jester like stall spam deck or whatever. But the only duel that's like really annoying in this game from what I recall is that one. The duel that I'm talking about is not annoying. It's the fact that if you lose the duel I'm talking about, you have to do a mini game over. It makes you redo a mini game to get through it. I don't know what this golden ladybug is doing. I'm not reading it. I'm too busy looking at chat. He's getting 500 HP. It won't save him. This game came out in 2010. I love that chat and I are not saying the names of the duels or the duelists, and instead we're like naming what Earthbound Immortal that duel is known for, for some reason. Yo, chat, you want to synchro some? Give me this psychic life whatever. 